Hello everybody, Luke back once again, this time to talk about everything we know about Payday 3. Now Payday is a wildly popular cooperative crime shooter game that lets you play as the bad guys as you try to make it big. Now it's been about 7 years since the game's second installment came out, with tens of thousands of gamers still playing. Now the good news is the creators have confirmed that Payday 3 is in the works, and we're going to be breaking down everything we know about it, including confirmed and rumored details. First though, if you're new here, do me a huge favor. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers on this brand new gaming channel. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here and hopefully we can help you learn something new about the world of gaming out there. We would really appreciate it. All right, now on to everything we know about Payday 3. Now Payday first came out back in 2011 with a second installment coming out just two years later in 2013. Now we've been waiting for almost eight years for the third installment. This comes as there's been a lot of fear over the publisher. Starbreeze has run into some financial issues and other issues inside the company that many feared would result in the game being canceled. Now we can confirm that the game is still in development and has a rough release window at this moment. So we'll be breaking down everything we know in this. But first, let's take a look at these legal troubles because I think this is important to understand get an idea of what's happening with Payday 3. Now, the company behind it was also behind one of the failed Walking Dead games. This led to a massive issue with their finances, leading to them having to lay off 25% of their staff and saying they wouldn't start a new game without significant support. The company also sold many of its rights to other upcoming games like Psychonauts 2 and System Shock 3, just to name a few, in order to get some capital. They sold off their rights to the share of those games. To make things even worse, the former CEO was convicted of insider trading. Just kind of makes it a big mess out there that you have to deal with in order to get a new game out. The good news, though, is things have changed. People have continued to work on this, and the reports are out that Revenue from Payday 2 from the tens of thousands of people who are still playing it will be enough at this moment to keep development going on Payday 3 thanks to all the DLC that's included with Payday 2. If you're not familiar with it, they're very aggressive in pushing DLC on it to make you buy new things and create new content for the game. Now, very little is known about the game other than a few key things. First of all, the Unreal Engine will be powering the third installment, this and... They also are reportedly working on trying to keep the core of the game very similar to the original two games. That current fans would feel very at home on it, but in a much more detailed, in-depth environment where they take advantage of building upon the successes they've already had. Not only are they just trying to expand the storyline, they're also trying to work on expanding the actual gameplay to bring new elements and new features to it. And of course, probably make the game look bigger and better and nicer. As with all almost eight-year-old games, it's starting to look a little dated. And there's only so many updates and patches you can do without having to start from scratch to really update it. And that kind of feels like what's happening here with Payday 3. We'll have to wait and see. Now, originally, this game was targeting a 2022 release. But more recently, it's been announced it's being pushed back to 2023. Um, we'll have to see what happens with that. Fingers crossed, 2023 is still a long ways though. Very easily could see this game delayed again, expanded, pushed back. We'll have to see what happens with the developer and more on it. I am hoping that doesn't happen. Fingers crossed that they are able to get this all put together and are able to get the game out in 2023. Now, they have confirmed it will be a PC and console game. No details on what counsels now, though I saw some reports that the delay is also partially about getting it on the current next-gen consoles that are out there, like the Play PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Now, for the PC, the, some of the people they're partnering with to bring out the game are well-known to be Epic Game exclusive or PC, at least a timed exclusive on it, which may, means, may mean you need the Epic Game Store in order to play it. Not necessarily a horrible thing. I think most PC gamers are at the point where you are used to having multiple different um, systems on there. I got Origin. I got. I even have the Amazon one. I got Steam. I got Origin, Amazon, good old games, Battle.net. Adding Epix isn't really that big of a deal to PC, even though I do understand it. I think we all kind of miss the days where it was just like one or two 
programs you needed on your computer and you had all the games out there. Um, but no word on how long that would be a exclusive on it. So we'll have to keep a close eye on this. That is unfortunately all we know right now. The good news is for fans is it's confirmed. It is happening. Bad news is you're probably at least two plus years away from it coming out. We'll see. Um, I would be surprised if it came out early in 2023, but that's possible. The thing about fall games and more, you have to fight against some pretty stiff competition. There's typically some major releases happening in fall. If you can get an early game release, that can really help you stand out in a time where people are looking for maybe new games to play and there's not necessarily a ton of um, AAA games to compete against. Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It would really help us as it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here as we go for a thousand subscribers. Really appreciate all the new subscribers and the recent growth. We'll be back with another video real soon.